this pistol. Let me move my controller. Move this. I have a throwing knife. Where's his footsteps at? Oh, I see his laser. I keep my laser on the walls. Notice that. That way he can't see where I'm at. Oh, 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 oh. Where am I at? Where am I? At? Oh, 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 oh. What's up? He's gonna smoke it? Yeah, he is. No, he C4 it. What an animal. I will give him I will give him credit. He used the pistol too. I f with him for that. Anybody in the ghoulie that uses the weapon that's not preferred, I can give him respect to. And I kind of kind of wish I would die doing it, to be fair. You got the balls to use a shotgun, not the SMG. You got the balls to use the pistol, not the AR. I'll put you. We've got yellow zip lining. We need to do the same. Let's see what yellow does. Now, since we're delayed, I definitely expect them to get the high ground, not fully charge the enemies. It's definitely the better option. Now, we know this building's a bitch. We know cluster mines are... What is this, dude? I didn't even see him. Good eye. Nice snipe. All right. Sleepy. Now, there are better XRK builds. I'll give you guys mine after this. As I was saying, though, these buildings are hard to push. Between clusters, the staircase, the doorways. It's a bitch. Oh, it's another team. All right. To your right. Laser showing. So now you know you're at. It's a bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch that laser, man. You have to watch it. Especially if you're just holding the angle, dude. Aiming at the wall when the enemy peeks, then fing snap over. You have to really get snappy with it. I hate the lasers in the ghoulie. I feel like it just gives away everyone's position. It doesn't really with me much, but I watched so many players get dom because they just shine that shit like it's a fucking flashlight. See, see what he's doing? Smart. The enemy has no idea where we're at and we're able to get some shots off. Oh shit. Reach out. Oh! Oh, that was, hey, I, was, I wouldn't even think about that. That was smart. I would have forgot about the C4 to be fair. That was, that was a smart fucking play. Good shit, sleepy ghost. So he's got the wits. He's got the uh, deductive reasoning. He's got the on the fly decision making mid combat. I would reach out, but C4 is a better play. It helps to hit your shots. That, that definitely is number one, right? Definitely number one. Hit your shots first and foremost. But we're gonna regain now. We need $1,100. Um, money's not a bad idea. It's a great way. But I wouldn't be surprised with the team here to be fair. Okay, we have a good team. We have a good team. Again, I do think it's quads. Either there were two teams in that building, which I doubt. Or it's quads. But look, I personally would have landed nearby instead of the money. Because there's going to be a lot of loot here. You run the risk of having players there. But you're going to run the risk of having players there when you go to buy. So again, I'd rather just go ahead, fly over this area, look at it, see if I see a little ants running around. And if not, you're not 100% safe, but you know you're at least okay-ish. Loot one of these many buildings and just hit the hit the buy station instantly. I definitely would have saved that for the buy, but that's okay. No footsteps in this building. If you don't hear any, you're probably good. Let's see what he plays. All right, his teammate marked the other buy, which to be fair, uh, is probably safer. This is probably one of the most unused buys until end game or mid game. And here we are rotating out. We got a zip, and again, I would probably hit the zip just to get, get elevation to see if there's a little ants running around. You can get a lot of intel just from hitting these zips. I would have died too. It is what it is. All right, moving on to TTV Ghost and TTV Peeping Tom. Taking on a sniper at range. Fucking ballsy as shit, dude. Hell of ballsy. And we are pushing it. All right, the enemy was distracted. We have a drone we could launch up on top of the enemy. Of course, get up here is a ladder giving you to the rooftop. Good prediction by the enemy right here. This lobby doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. And this is duos. To your left-hand side, you got to use your audio cues. Nice drone, of course, getting the crack. We're going to follow up. Just push him. He's cracked. He's cracked, brother. What are you waiting for? Okay, that might work. Yeah, yeah, and he pushed. Oh! I'd smoke, bro. Oh my god. So much happening. I mean, throwing the nade at that point, you just hold the angle because he has to move. And when he did move, we bailed away. I like this fight. This was a good fight for them to take, but they just played it wrong. Not even completely. The nade was a great way to get him out of cover, but bailing from the cover is kind of crazy. 
Good snipe from the enemy right there, though. Damn, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Damn. Um, I know there's been a lot. Let me. Ooh, peeping Tom, peeping it up and getting the fucking heady. Love it. That's not gonna hit. There's just too many crevices on the rooftop and fucking angles. That nade was gonna roll no matter what. But yeah, bail away. And again, we have smokes. And as you're running away, you have to keep yourself protected from this building. So just go. Go, bitch. You don't have plates, homie. It's not even worth it. You're going to knock them and then what? Push them with his teammate still up? No, nah, I don't think so. He's got to regain, brother. Our teammate giving comms, which is great. Giving pings like that. And he's going to land on his shit. Which is... Yeah. Okay. All right. The enemy team they're playing to, and you, look, you have to analyze the team you're fighting. I'll land on enemies like that if I really think they're bad, but because they're hitting their snipes, they're hitting their shots, they're moving around, and they're playing their life to the best of their ability, bro. I don't feel confident landing on them with a pistol to maybe get my shit back, especially when they're still on the rooftop. If they were bots and we just happened to get killed by Bettys or just luck, for sure. But you have to you have to give players respect when you're fighting them and play. That dude naded right over the building perfectly towards us. That's nuts what a what did y'all see that nade coming at us we have a flare we got to get outside we have smokes again i ask you look snipers over there and i'm a sniper main why would you even try this fight both ways if you knock us we're gonna crawl backward unless they double hit us we're gonna crawl backwards and get res if we knock you same situation so all we're doing at this point is picking an unnecessary fight Allowing another team to come up on us from behind and uh, take us out. When in reality, we need to be thinking about rotations, about buys. We've got 18 grand. We've got a buy station next to us. We've got enemies shooting. Finally diverting over there. We've got a great angle right now. Because we're separated, we're able to kind of handle this fight with the enemy to our left. But this guy's going to be a little bit of a problem. Peeping Tom's got to find a way to help his teammate out with the guy that's on his level. He might be able to handle it himself. I just don't know. And again, the uncertainty of what happened to the dude on the left-hand side is kind of putting fear in your boy peeping Tom's eyes. It's delaying his push. This is crazy. Glass broke. One footstep inside. Good challenge. Good challenge. Shoot his body. Teabag him. Come on, man. Come on. I want to feel the animosity, bro. And again, we got money. I want to get a buy up. I want to get a UAV. Get yourself res. Get whatever you need, but definitely get a UAV. Guy on top of Sniper Tower. He's, oh, oh, bitch. He's on top. Go. Nice knock. Definitely not a shit sniper. Yeah, footsteps on us. Again, we have no cover right here, so the enemy does challenge. We're in a rough spot. Good job bailing back. Oh, my God. That was a great fucking stun and great job on Peeping Tom just bailing back in when it got thrown. And I want you to notice, too, the great players. There are a lot of good players that use throwing knives, so no shots at them at all. But again, Smokes will fucking save your life and win you more games than you think. Again, the no stock ADS is so much faster and because this player is more aggressive with the sniper than anything, I think he'd benefit from using my build. It's not a bad build at all, but the ADS difference would definitely be a world of difference for you. Out in the open, no cover. This is very risky, dude. Very risky. Even though we have yellow push on the left-hand side, which is great on teamwork, we're still ballsy as f doing this. All right, good job the enemy bailing away. I just don't think he's going to make it. Even if he has restock on, he's got two smokes at best and he's got a long journey anywhere. So he has to win this fight. Which he fucking there he is. You see him behind the street? No, to the right in the street. On the no no on the street, bitch. You saw him. He's running around like a little ant. You see him, bro? He's in the street. Oh my god! Open your eyes. Open your. He's by the building. He's by. He's. Uh, Y'all saw that too, right? Maybe he's playing on big ass TV. I don't know. But again, anyway, even if we didn't see him, what's the next play? The zip line. So you have to watch the zip regardless. And which is, I'm surprised Peeping Tom's not doing. And if the enemy's still here, he's a psychopath too. Take the zip and get the f out of here. But none of them paid attention. None of them saw it. None of them anticipated the rotation anyway. Wild. Wild boy. Wild boy. 
Not to mention, we probably should take fucking zip too, because, uh, rotations. You'll have a team probably coming up from gas already, probably over here. Good snipe. I don't know what that was. Ooh. Now, remember the guys we were shooting over here? You know, the guys on minimap? Even though we're taking shots, we're still vulnerable from those guys. So I do not want to be on this bridge as much as possible. Getting kills or not, still don't really like it. Oh, nice smoke from him. <laughs> there you go. He learned. He learned. And again, rooftop really worried. I think I saw one peeking as well. Let's go spectate yellow, see what he's in. All right, now look. Rotating here early is fucking crazy. It might work out. It probably won't. You're going to have a lot of people to fight on this hill. People rotating in. We can get, keep those guys. But as we're focused, these guys will have to push as well. I think, honestly, in situations like this, I'd rather play the building, get a knock, and then push up. It's personal preference. I think it's a better strategy. I don't like rotating in-game and being centered because you have to fight everyone pushing at the same time. And two players holding off 20 squads or however many are going to be when they actually do push is going to be a hard challenge for anybody. Glint, glint to the right, glint to the right, glint to the right, bro. Glint, yeah, good job, yellow. Here's a glint to the left, too. I think they got two snipers in that squad. Damn, brother. I like the I like the fact that Ghost at least is checking the other side. They're not staying out here too long. Watch the glint to the left, bitch. No! He's dead. We're an easy headshot. Granted, he won't knock us at that range unless he has the cat AMR, but, I mean, we're still vulnerable as shit. What the fuck? What build do you have? I mean, he definitely should have led a little bit. I don't think his shot was off, but something's wrong with his sniper. I don't know what. And here's here's the what I'm talking about. This is literally what I was just bitching about. Fighting the whole world at the same time is going to be hard. Let's not shoot him. What about the guy who's just sniping you in the face, brother? What are we doing? You're being sniped at actively right now. Peep and Tom, come on, man. You got it in you, bro. You're not a bot. Oh, my. Please, no. All right, good snipe. Good snipe. Good snipe. Let's go to Ghost. All right, Ghost is actually pushing this, which, again, is questionable. We don't know what's rotating in from this way, so we could get flanked right here. We could get pushed from the left hand. Oh, my God, bitch. If, they, if these guys play this hill and hold it off, I will be shocked. They've pissed off four different teams now. Good challenge by him. Holy f What a read. What a nade. Oh my god. Let's go. Anticipating the fallback. That's nice. And look, this is the time we have to worry about people pushing out of the buildings, which wouldn't be hard to contest. We have to worry about these guys and these guys. Green in the middle of it right now. He goes down. I tell you guys all the time, playing the edge is never the favor, except for in-game. And this is one of those situations you really don't be, you don't want to be uh, playing the middle. It's the complete opposite. You really want to play the edge and kind of pick fights easier. Is he, is he in tower? I don't know what kind of sniped us from that angle, to be honest. It's just a hard fight nonetheless. You really don't want to pre-rotate these zones. Wide open, on a hill like that. High ground's definitely beneficial, dude. But if you're the first there, I'm telling you, man, this is going to happen to you every fucking time. Every time. You can't fight the world. You cannot fight the world. Playing the edge in these situations is your best bet. Playing it slow, letting people fight each other off, figuring out where they're at, getting intel, fighting off of that. To 3v... or 2v2v2, 2v3v1, whatever the situation is, we're not in a terrible spot. Uh, you might want to get them f smokes, f them stuns. Now we talked about playing the edge. This is the moment where I kind of, I would kind of take the high ground. I would rotate up and take the high ground. The enemies up here are being shot at. I'm assuming, I'm assuming his teammates getting shot at because there's gunfire happening. Take advantage of it. What are we crouch walking for? Shoot him in the face, man. Y'all in a position to win this. And again, I would rotate up. This is the moment. Green's got the right idea. He's getting his loadie, but I would still play high. Cover or not, bro. We got smokes we can play if we're shooting. And not to mention that ridge right here is also good. But yeah, okay, just go prone. It's a 2v1. I don't know why we're hiding. This is an easy stackable offense right here. Just stack the shit out this player. 
And you have stuns too, so this is the one po moment that'll actually save your ass. But this brings me back to Vietnam. Prone crawling. Oh my fuck. I mean, it'll work, but still, like, damn. They're gonna throw. Oh, oh. He didn't see him cross the left. Oh my. Wait, wait, yellow's up, yellow. No, yeah, what the fuck, come on. self res saved their life. They, um, they they threw that, they threw it. They got fuck. Holy shit. Damn, they won it, but damn. That was questionable plays all around though. There was no reason for the bomb drone again, just stacking them. They almost threw that. That's fucking nuts.